Hello parents, let me start with the nature of mathematics. It is a unique subject wherein concepts are chained in sequences of strong dependencies. The chain gets long and deep over the years. The dependency is so strong that knowing every previous step becomes an absolute necessity. This makes the situation fragile and if the student misses concepts along the chain, he can feel totally lost. The journey of math becomes almost like driving a train. From the beginning to the end, where the teacher becomes the sole driver. Driving at a fixed pace, irrespective of the student's need. Students miss many concepts repeatedly over the years, whether due to sickness or lack of attention or many other reasons. And most of the time, whatever conceptual understanding they have built, that itself is very superficial. Thus the track develops holes and the train cannot pass through. A weak conceptual chain with holes and gaps cannot get too far. It eventually breaks. In my times, we were overly dependent on the teacher. But today, the teacher's quality instructions of all the school years, a decade of math, have been packed so neatly into videos for access to anyone and all of this along with tons of practice quizzes. What an amazing opportunity the free and open educational resource like Khan Academy provides to all and especially for those without access to good quality education. This was unimaginable some time back. We at Tamarind Tree have made our students self-driven with the help of these kind of resources. With all the teacher instructions available at their disposal, the students learn at their own pace at their heart's content, moving ahead step by step and going back and forth to those concepts that will help them strengthen the chain. They gradually build their own structure, they drive their own train. Now once students have absorbed their concepts from Khan Academy, they engage with me as their math guide in many different ways. Students come to me for resolving their doubts. The segment BC then you fold and get angle B to that point where A touches the segment BC and the same you do with angle C. It becomes a straight, it forms a little rectangle or square depending on your triangle and second, it forms a straight line. Let me show that. We take up new and challenging problems that help build logical and new ways of thinking and communication skills. One and two on the top. Excellent! One and two on the top. Okay, I'm showing you the animation again. Divyangi Gond says move one on the top. Move two on the top. We have four triangles. Excellent! I also take up important concepts for revision and reinforcement. Also interconnecting them to ensure that the students are developing a holistic understanding of the concepts. I try to go to the heart of the concept. The why behind the how. We also take up games and assignments that require student collaboration. I conduct tests, we have discussions, we explore simulations and demonstrations, and we engage in activities that keep them stimulated and motivated. In these times, we are executing this blended approach online, in virtual math rooms, wherein the students do their regular work on Khan Academy in my presence, and we also engage in all the activities mentioned before from time to time. We have seen the self-driven growth in our students who come from marginalized and rural communities. And we strongly believe that any student who is willing to work regularly making the best use of these online resources can reach the highest zeniths of performance in math. Inviting all the students from the age group of 9 to 13 to join these math rooms. Hoping to see you there. Till then, happy learning.